Yeah. <laughs> Is the mic on? Let's get the party started now. Officially, welcome to the final week of the Media Challenge Fellowship Program 2020. Someone has a birthday today, right? Yeah, let's sing for the guy. Happy birthday to you. Rahim, I know you lost your granny and you're here as well. So, I mean, I know we couldn't come, but we were with you and we are here for you. So maybe um, a moment of silence for his granny. And then also maybe other people who have lost their loved ones, who are not able to go. And those we've lost to COVID. So yeah. Officially, welcome to the final week of the Media Challenge Fellowship Program 2020. We are dedicating this week to digital skills. So you'll be seeing a lot of um, Excel sheets. <laughs> you'll be seeing a lot of numbers. You'll be seeing a lot of visualization. But also the most beautiful thing about it is we have an amazing team from Code for Africa who are arguably one of the best on the continent, just like Africa Czech, in their work, in the line of work in terms of digital skills and data journalism. We're from Code for Africa, and uh, I'll just, <laughs> I'm mandated to talk about this. <laughs> so we are a federation of, uh, a consortium really, of uh, indigenous uh, civic tech, uh, today we had quite an intense session covering uh, the basic concepts of data journalism. Uh, we had sort of the foundational building blocks that just get most of the participants in this fellowship to have a better appreciation of data, uh, its value in our day-to-day -day lives. Every time I send stories to different mentors, they will tell me we need data, the stories that you're compiling. So I'm glad that I learned something. I cannot like rely on one source while compiling data to put it in a story. And I have to credit the sources that give me the data because sometimes the data that we use in stories is manipulated and it's not true. So people can actually use the data that is provided to you to tell lies. For any new person or journalist, when you look at data in form of spreadsheets, all those numbers being thrown at you, you see it as something that looks intimidating, but when uh, you really get to understand it, then it becomes very easy. Uh, when uh, our facilitator was explaining to us, I got to really understand data and all its attributes that are given to it and I saw it as something that is really doable than something that can just intimidate me. Data is made up of facts, yeah? When you present numbers, you're perceived to be the guy with facts, yeah? Uh, CC Andrew Mwenda and Alex. When he pulls out numbers, everyone says, that man knows what he's saying. A fact is necessarily the truth. When you get the process of visualization of data, it really becomes clear to any person that is looking at it. It does not need you to have prior knowledge of, of uh, maybe understanding how data works or anything, but it simply puts everything out there for someone to understand, even with little knowledge. Uh, I noticed even in the class when we were shown uh, a, a visual of, of data, a day in the life of an American, and you, we could see how the interactive visual a representation of data was working so I saw that when you really put data in a visual format it really becomes very easy for anyone to understand it. Every journalism student out there should consider the Media Challenge Fellowship. If at all you're given a chance please take it so so serious because the things that you learn here you'll use them even after 
you graduate or be in the media space because this is a blessing.